morning everyone it's Jess welcome back for another video so today I'm going to be adding some color into my patio garden back here I know you guys just saw a couple videos back that I just mulched and cleaned up this area and I really felt like I was lacking some color so we're gonna add some annuals and some perennials into this bed today let me go ahead and show you what I'm gonna be planting so here they are y'all this is all I'm gonna be planting today a nice quick little video just to add a little bit of pop of color so over here I have a few perennial lilies that I picked up on clearance and then over here I'm gonna be planting some annual super tunia vista bubble gum first things first you guys I have decided where I want to finally put this pot so I'm gonna be moving my boxwood out of the area and then get to planting Okay, that's better. Let me try and figure out some plant placement and then we'll get to planting. I think that'll work for now. Alright y'all, so I got everything planted and I think it's going to look so beautiful next year. So let me go ahead and run you through what I've planted. So I guess I'll start with the Asiatic lilies first. I was really inspired when this clump of blooms came up. I thought it'd be really pretty to just have some random pops of color throughout this bed. So these are actually some bulbs that I planted a couple years ago. So I've got pink blooming here. I've got an orange clump tucked in here, an orange clump tucked in the back. I've got another pink clump here. I popped in a pink clump there and then another orange clump right down here in front. So the orange ones are actually a double bloom, you guys. Y'all know how I feel about my double ruffle blooms. They're called Tiny W Asiatic Lilies. They are full sun to partial sun plants. Um, and by the way, this bed is in shade right now. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. In about an hour or so, the sun will hit this bed and it'll be in sun the remainder of the day until the sun goes down. So this is a full sun bed technically. Um, they are hardy to negative 30 and they grow 12 to 16 inches tall and about 12 to 14 inches wide so they'll be just enough to fill in this space here same thing with that one there i kind of try to tuck them around my bobo hydrangea because bobo will fill in this section and i just tuck them around the perimeter so let me give you guys a look at the tag just in case you're interested or want to pause on it here's what the bloom will look like on these orange ones so so pretty and again the name is tiny w asiatic lily got these half off at Lowe's and then this clump right here these two pink ones that I tucked in are actually two different types of Asiatic lily but they are both pink blooming so this one in the middle is called after eight oriental lily again a full sun to partial sun perennial this one's hardy to negative 20 so this one is a little bit more tough than the orange ones it grows 18 to 24 inches tall and about 12 to 15 inches wide here's a look at this tag for you guys 
This one is by Monrovia as well. And after eight Oriental Lily, this one has that pretty white around its perimeter of the blooms. So, so pretty. And then this one over here is another pink blooming Oriental Lily. This one is called Sun Keys. Another full sun perennial, hardy to negative 30. And this one grows 18 to 24 inches tall and 12 to 15 inches wide. So here's a look at the tag for this one. Very similar to the other one, but this one looks like the blooms may be just a little bit smaller. It's kind of hard to tell just from the picture, but it does also have that white lining the edges. Just doesn't look as rippled as the other one. So I think it'll be a nice pink pop of color tucked in with all of this yellow <laughs> blooming that I have over here in the yellow foliage. So there's a quick little overview for all the lilies that I tucked into this bed. I think it'll be so pretty when they all are in bloom next year. And then down here in the front, I just popped in a small little drift of Supertunia Vista Bubblegum. This is a Petunia hybrid by Proven Winners. And y'all, these get massive and they are just loaded with blooms all season long. So I think it'll just be a nice, pretty mass border of pink right here in the front. So these are hardy to negative 30. They grow 12 to 24 inches tall and wide. So they create a nice little pink mound and by the looks of how close I planted them, they may end up touching, which I'm perfectly fine with. Here's a look at the tag on this one. Full to part sun, so I think they'll do amazing here. So I did make sure to plant my annuals pretty close to the front border so that I'll still have space to go in behind them and plant a row of perennials right here in the center. I'm really thinking that I wanna plant something white blooming in this space. Maybe like some white ones, Veronica or something of that nature, just to give me another variety of color and then also tie in with my hydrangea back here in the back. So this is a Bobo hydrangea. It does bloom white flowers mid to late summer. And then down here in front of that, I'll have my drift of purple. So these are a type of allium called Millennium Garlic. So they'll get these sweet little lollipop shaped balls is what I like to call them in late summer. In between them, I do have some Celines planted that are already done blooming for the season. They are my early spring bloomers. They bloom these sweet little dainty pink flowers, almost the same color as these bubblegum down here. So they're done for the season. I'll just be left with their foliage and then I'll have something white down in front of that and now that I'm thinking about it I really think the Veronica will be perfect in that space it'll give me that perfect height that I need so definitely will have to go pick up some of those hopefully on clearance fingers crossed and then I'll be left with just my mass of pink down here in front which I think will give me that perfect layering of colors that I need in this bed so I did decide to leave my little cat's pajamas Nepeta planted here this is the only one that survived I did used to have a whole drift of that lavender planted here and that's the only one that came back. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. I may end up moving it later, but it's just doing so good. I'm gonna let it do its thing. I do also have a hibiscus planted here. This is a pink blooming Rose of Sharon, getting ready to put on its show. Like, look at all the buds, y'all. It is covered and I cannot wait for its show. It normally starts blooming late June for me. And then over here, of course, I have my yellow blooming Cello de Oro Day Lily is doing amazing. So I have a lot of color now in this bed. I really felt like this bed was just lacking in the color aspect. I had a lot of green and different textures, which is not enough color. So I feel like I've accomplished that mission. Check that off my list. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to share my quick little planting update with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and planting with me. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're interested in following along with my journey. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Also, really quick, just wanted to share with you guys. So I know I'll probably get questions in the comments asking me where I located these. Here is where I decided to temporarily put my pots. Again, this is all in the works, you guys. But I think they look kind of cute just lining my vision for my pathway to my gate. Again, these probably will be moving again. But I think they serve their purpose for now. Cool.